Hello, this is Larry with the Rapid Set Metal Buildings, and we are going to be going over bracing today. And um, so you start at RapidSetBuildings.com, and you go down to the very bottom at PWS, and here I am already uh, logged in and ready to go. Um, you get a building quote, and the first thing that you need to do is, if you need specific bracing as opposed to the program just defaulting everything. Um, you see how I'm in English measurements and advanced options. You need to make sure you're in advanced options. And so you click previous step and then uh, just make sure that you're in advanced options and go to next step. And let's call this one bracing. Um, a random zip code that's easy to remember. And I think this time I'll do, um, I think I'll just do a clear, a regular old clear span, although there's plenty of options including hangers. And I think I'll do uh, uh, 50 by how about some odd amount in 2.87 and let's go 2.5 or you can go uh, 2 foot 6 inch if you want to do it that way. It'll figure it out for you. And just go next step Oh, maximum value. So we've got to go higher on the building. So let's go uh, 14 foot 9 or 8 inches. And this will bring up the loads and codes page, which you always need to confirm for the building location. And let's say we want to edit values. And let's go with uh, 09 and let's make it uh, two pounds of snow and let's throw on another or one pound of collateral and agree and accept and go to next step now this next part is our graphical layout and let's say uh, for end walls uh, specifically if you click on the end wall so then we're going to deal with the end wall specifically and for instance if you want to change the bay um, spacing. You can make this one 15 and this one 17 and then see how it goes 15, 18, 17 up on the top. And then you can go to bracing. So you have to go left to right. So you go, you, you leave the base, base the, the, the bay layout as it is, but once you change any of this, your doors and windows go away like it says here. But on bracing, on the end walls, you got a few options. You can go cable or rod, obviously and rod to frame and cable the frame is simply moving it up into the roof and I think I'll do cable the frame in this case or you could do uh, fully loaded expandable end wall frames or half loaded so let's go cable the frame on this on this one and then we'll throw in a uh, let's say a good sized door in this center bay right here and then you click done and then on the side walls here um, I think the base spacing, I like it because uh, the corners get a little bit more wind, so you want to make them a little tighter. Um, on the, you got all, a bunch of different options on bracing. Let's say on the left, or on the front sidewall, let's go wind column. And let's go to bay 2, right side. And then it throws in your wind column right there. And now the yellow is where it's asking me, do I want windows or doors? Um, so let's go ahead and put in a, a 10 by 10 on the right here. And then we'll click in the yellow again right here. And then put in a, a 12 by 9 centered. And it will automatically add more space right here for your available door sizes uh, to accommodate the wind column there. Say we're done. And then let's go in the back here. And let's go portal frame in bay 2. Um, and basically that's a perpendicular frame, uh, a perpendicular main frame that would uh, have the moment here in order for the all the frames not to fall like dominoes, if you can envision that. Uh, let's go put a 10 by 10 in there. And then on the right side, let's go ahead and play around a little bit more and and let's make uh, four bays and then on the bracing let's go a half loaded end wall frame 
And now that should limit my height amounts. Yeah, see how it limits my height amounts even though I'm closer to the middle? Um, because the the portal frame has a, uh, a header which conflicts with uh, a roll-up door arc going back easily, if that, if that makes sense. Uh, so this is good. And then let's go to accessories, and I think um, we'll go over these later, but all the defaults are, are probably the best options. And then my next step here will be grinding the engineering, and I'm going to uh, click that and then pause. And magically we're back. Uh, once this continue button here uh, comes usable, uh, that means that the, uh, pro the building is done grinding. So we'll go, okay, we'll throw in a walk door so we can get in. Um, we'll throw on a little bit of insulation, just for the heck of it, and then go next step. And then this will be the building's drawings. And you see how on the, on the left end wall here, moving the bracing up into the roof, this is uh, cable the frame bracing right here, uh, and basically it just stiffens it off the main amount of bracing right there. On the front side wall, we chose uh, wind column, uh, and there's your column right there. On the right side, we chose um, uh, half loaded or full loaded frame, I don't remember, but let's go ahead and look at the anchor bolt plan. And you'll see that this is a uh, column layout the same as this, and it's not in this corner as you could see. Um, let's go back to our 3D, and then on the right side, we chose a portal frame, which is right there so we don't have a right side uh, drawing in our program but you get the idea and let's see the mainframes uh, that looks good it's a little offset because I think we changed the base spacing and then here's the wind column so it looks good so let's go to next step and here's the quote there's the building only with stamp plans delivered to that zip code and then you have some accessories, and this is the total price. And here's the deposit. And there is the building. And then you have the option to, you could email it to yourself or whoever, and or print quote. And you go print quote right there. And it looks good. And this is Larry with Rapid Set Metal Buildings, and uh, thanks for listening.